What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Identity 5 video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I used the wrong build on Leo's memory with Bonbon, bon, but I still got a 4 man. So, the story of how this began was actually, I used to run teleport with um, confined space and detention with Bonbon bon on big maps, but now I'm trying to you know, not use detention and use blink and trump card, but well, guess which genius forgot to change their build. So I end up running blink with this build, and as you can see, I did get my first chip on the perfumer right here. And right now she's just gonna transition away to the best kiting spot in this map, which is the factory. And here I get a very good hit. And now she is just gonna try to kite me as long as possible because Bonbon bon is really hard to kite. And from here, Blink is up, so I blink through the window and get my first down. So from here, I pick up the perfumer, not aware of the forward, and he does a beautiful stun. So right now, I hit the perfumer again. And now I try to. You know, stop the forward from harassing because forwards can be really annoying. And right here, I try to be patient, and he goes for the stun. And so, I pick up the perfumer, thinking that his stun was still on countdown, but who knew? He came back for another stun. So, from here on, one cipher has already been popped, and the forward has wasted a lot of my time. Now I'm just going to try to focus my kill on the perfumer. Very good perfume back into the factory. And from here, forward does a miss stun. So I just hit him to try to get to max presence as quickly as possible. And from here, I try to look for the perfumer, follow the trails. And over here, she's just going to waste as much time as possible. And over here, I hit the timer bomb, and I get to max presence because of that one chip. So, when Perfumer goes on the chair, I'm gonna be in with max presence, so it's gonna be a really tar hard time for anyone who's gonna come for the rescue. From here, three ciphers have already been popped, and I'm screwed. So I look around if the forward's coming, he's not stunning because he finished his football. So I get my first chair and two ciphers remaining, it's best case scenario a tie for me. So right now I'm just gonna camp the chair. And I do see forward hiding behind the tree and mercenary dashing right through me. Does eat a chip. And from here, Mercenary does a very clean rescue, but unfortunately gets doubled down. And right now, I'm trying to focus my kill on the Perfumer, unaware of Embalmer's coffin on her. And right here, I did a mind game. She thought I was vaulting, but I didn't. And it, it went very clutch for the Perfumer. Very good on the Embalmer's part. So... I did notice the coffin was just above me, but now nah, I was lazy. So right here, I did find the embalmer healing the mercenary. And right here, I get a hit and unfortunately get stuck and blink is up. So I just blink over the pallet and strike the embalmer. And right here, mercenary self-healed. And I'm just going to chair this embalmer. And after I chair him, I'm just gonna camp this chair and hope that even if anyone comes to rescue, it'll be after half. So, two ciphers remaining. And right here, I do chip the mercenary to prevent him from the rescue. And now I'm just pushing him away from the chair. 
so Bonbon bon is really good at camping. Now I break the pallet. And I scout the area just to see if there's anyone coming. I plant some bombs to intimidate. And from here I do get tinnitus, so I look around. And I do see the forward from a distance. And I don't know why he came, but I just smacked him. And the thank you's gonna come up. So from here the embalmer is going to be dead on chair. And I'm gonna pick the forward up. And from here when I chair the forward, the forward is gonna be on the chair for, for the first time. Perfumer's gonna be dead on chair when she's down. Mercenary cannot rescue. So from here, it's looking like a pretty good scenario. One Cypher remaining, it could still be a potential tie. And so, over here, I do see the Mercenary. Very good elbow pad by the Mercenary. And manages to avoid the bombs, but I smacked him. And Perfumer coming in for the rescue. Very sneaky on their part. Good gameplay by the Survivor team. And from here, I pick up the mercenary to stop the decoding process. And from here, perfumer and forward are both injured, so they can't come for the rescue. And now I'm just scouting the area because I have tinnitus, looking out for whoever that's coming. And over here, you can see forward hi hiding behind a tree, and I do see the trails. Right now I just try to focus on killing him. Now since I didn't bring trump card, I can just use my blink. So now that blink is up, I blink and I get the hit. So now this is forward second time on chair and the perfumer did rescue the mercenary. And from here I'm just gonna camp this chair until forward dies. From here, the mercenary is still trying to rescue, and I try to chain bomb him, and I accidentally used the wrong bomb here, which is unfortunate on my side. But he does nail the rescue, and the cipher is not going to be popped, and it's so close to being popped. So, thank you from the mercenary again. And from here, the survivors do decide to pop the cypher machine. And I have tinnitus, so I can just look around and kill the next person that I find. Now, mercenary is who I find, and it looks as if he doesn't have any elbow pads right now. So, right now, I'm just gonna kill him, because mercenary without elbow pads is not really that good against the bonbon bon with attention. And over here, I do find the perfumer trying to open the gate. Now I just follow the trails. And here she does eat a chip. And now, from here, it's basically game over for the survivor's part. And right here, she's just trying to waste as much time as possible. But ends up getting smacked. So... From here, even if I used the wrong build, I still won. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.